Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video we are going to be looking at what is new in the planisphere. To get us started we're going to be taking a look at the Happy Planner website and I just clicked on the new and featured new and we're going to be taking a look here at the oh how lovely box. This looks like it's going to be retail value of $64 being sold for $39.99 through the Happy Planner. Let's take a closer look here at these beautiful pictures of the Oh How Lovely box. Looks like it comes with a journal or notebook, notebook, bookmark, starter book, mini scratch off cards, some envelopes, a bracelet. Oh, how cute. Let Love Bloom embroidered sticker and the sticker sheet of hearts. Very cute. Very festive. I like it. I like it. And it looks like it is available now to order through the Happy Planner. Next, we're going to be seeing that the Essential Holidays sticker book from the Happy Planner is back in stock. So if you guys have been having this on your planner wish list, now is the time to pick it up. Also back in stock, it looks like we have the Fall Harvest value pack sticker. And so once again, if you guys have had this on your planner wish list, I would say now's a good time to pick it up. And then let's see what else. It looks like we do still have the Be Happy Box, Happy Adventures box still available through the Happy Planner, which comes with some removable clings, a planner cover sheet, half sheet filler paper, washi tape, looks like a three pack, a value pack sticker book, a guided journal, and a sticker postcard. This looks really cute. And I especially like how they do showing the notebook here because that gives you some ideas on how you can put some scrapbooking uh, pictures to use and everything for how you guys want to do that. So very, very cute. And the latest thing from the Happy Planner was that we have a plethora or variety of these undated uh, classic um, planners and everything. So if you're not wanting to hold off for the upcoming 2023 spring release planners, which I know they're going to be coming out soon. So stay tuned. We're going to be going over those all together. I'm so excited. And we are going to be checking them out because especially me, I need, I'm going to be needing a 2023 work mini planner. So maybe we can shop together and figure out which one. Next up here at Erin Condren, we have a lot of different kind of new arrivals that have hit the hit the website. Looks like there's a variety of new planner covers, um, abstract circles, colorful cosmos, abstract paint notebook, checkered, just a multitude of them. And then looks like they also have a new line of covers for their softbound notebooks which again comes in those colorful cosmos, the metallic leopard print, the abstract circles, and the harbor line soft boned, along with the Edivy finger painted and some other stripes. I personally, man, this colorful cosmos and this harbor line soft book notebook is really speaking to me. I don't know about the rest of you, but <laughs> those really speak to me. And then it looks like we also have some other notebooks. The notebooks and I would say the monthly planners of the Erin Condren are really excellent for if you have like certain kind of projects or anything like that, especially the monthly planner. I used to use it as my budget debt, you know, tracker and everything like that. Absolutely beautiful and very helpful. Um, but then I did find out, you know, that I was just, I, w I had a lot of wasted pages. So that's why I've kind of changed my budget and debt tracker setup to using the last two pages at the end of every month and my current 2023 Celestial Classic Cabaret Planner of the monthly layout. Um, so back to Erin Condren though, it looks like we also have some notebook bundles, which are really great. I really recommend bundles for anyone who is just kind of getting into the planner world, decorative planner or functional planning. You can never go wrong with like a bundle to start off with. And then as far as pens go. It looks like we have some colorful gel pen six pack. Some really pretty colors. Pink, kind of a peachy yellow. Turquoise, kind of a pale blue or aqua. And a navy, 
which is really nice. And I don't know about the rest of you, but this is a slight critique of the Erin Condren website and Erin Condren people, team, if you're listening, please make this happen. I would love it if you guys could put a feature where, you know, you could have a magnifying glass when you click on the image, it makes it even bigger for us. Um, I've been noticing as I'm getting older, I do appreciate a zooming in function on the websites more and more lately. And then uh, let's see, let's go back here. And we also looks like we have some colorful roller stamp pens in a six pack. These are really cool, especially if you're doing kind of like a checklist type aspect, as you can see here in your functional planning design, you can kind of roll out any of these like little asterisks or little symbols and everything for doing some functional planning. Um, I find those quite useful sometimes myself. And then we looks like we also have a variety of wet erase markers. We have a three pack here of kind of like a mauve, minty green, and a marigold, I would say. And then interestingly, we have some color changing gel pens in a six pack. Let's take a look at these. These are kind of cool. Oh, very cool. So all my makeup lovers out there, who loves a duo chrome, right? Or a multi-chrome? This is kind of giving me that kind of a vibe, but in the planner world. So this is pretty kind of ingenious, kind of a little bit different. Yeah, I could get on board with this. I may or may not have to put this on my wish list, on my planner wish list. So stay tuned. We're going to be having a planner wish list setup coming up. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to be setting that up for my planner system. And then next and new, we have these sunset focused dual tip markers. And I do love the dual tip markers aspects in the planning pins. Um, for one, you have one line, which is more of that fine tip. And the other end, you have that chiseled kind of straight line across, which is really nice. So if any of you out there also like those, this might be a good option for you. And then next it looks like there are some pastel sticky notes packs or just note packs. And let's just take a look at one of them to see what we have going here. Looks like we get five pads, 20 sheets per pad. Okay. So you have like a little bit of flag here. You have a little bit more of a, you know, smaller petite size of a post-it note. You have a slight semicircle flag, another little box post-it note. Okay. And then next we have some productivity or washi tape four packs. Let's take a look at one of these. And it looks like these are pretty cute. Oh, okay. Looks like you have one where you can have the Monday through Sunday with a little circles and everything to where you can kind of do it as like a habit tracker here is shown, which is kind of an interesting way of going about that. You also have some ones with, or words to kind of, you know, keep you going, maybe keep you treated, um, inspired with your planning. And then you have a dashboard bundle, which these are really great. Um, I used to use these on an Erin Condren, um, with a wet erase, it was kind of an interesting way of like helping me keep track of certain things. So if you like those as well, this could be a good bundle for you guys to grab up. And then we have some acrylic desk organizers. This is the pastel medium one. Oh, very nice. I like the kind of muted color of like the purple slash magenta color that I, we have going on here. And I like this photo, it shows all three of the acrylic desk organizers. So this is the pastel medium one we're looking at right here. This would probably be called a small one. And we'll just take a look at it here in a second. Yeah, quite nice. Okay. Yep, and then we have the pastel acrylic desk organizer cubby set of three. Oh, and then the desk organizer tray in three. I like that the fact that they're coming out in a set of three, especially for the 2650 price, 
and also the colors that they chose are really nice. I think these would be really nice way of keeping your drawers or your desk area more organized and such. I might have to put this on my wish list. Hmm. Stay tuned. We'll see if I do or do not. And then we also have these desk mat organizers. Now, I'm just going to take a look at here at one of them. And right off the get go, my initial kind of thought process is one, I love the florals. We all know I'm a sucker for florals. I love them, love them. And I like the overall size dimensions of this desk mat, which is nice. This is the part right here, this pen holder not a fan of. I, I quite honestly prefer a cup holder to put all my pens and markers in and everything, have it placed outside of my desk mat organizer because I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I'm organ <laughs> when I'm planning, I like to have my stickers kind of, you know, around my planner pages and everything. And this, having this pen holder right here on my desk mat, this would get on my nerves, especially because I could see myself like getting my fingers <laughs> stuck or is smacking into these like little pen holders that kind of stick up and everything and, and moving the desk mat. I could just see it being an issue because I'm accident prone. So what can I say? And then next we have a desk file organizer. Now this is kind of interesting because it looks like it's kind of maybe in like that vegan leather kind of material um, that Erin Condren has used for her I call them flip folios, or if you're my age group, raise your hand if you remember the Trapper Keeper, you know, zip up, you know, uh, file folder systems and everything when you were a kid. But this this material kind of reminds me of the ones that she used for her flip folios for the A5 ring um, planners and everything, which I don't mind this idea. This is actually quite cute. Um, I like the idea that it has that material so it has more um, ability to stand up more to wear and tear. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then it looks like there's a canvas wall organizer. I don't know exactly how I feel about this. No, nope, correction. I'm just going to throw it out there. Hate it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm like the rest of you, but I just, no, to me, this kind of looks slightly tacky in my opinion. I just, yeah, no, it's a, it's a no for me. <laughs> um, I would, I would much rather like to have a pegboard or something like that on my wall to keep me organized and such. This is where we come into the variety of the different, um, designs and everything that you can use in a multitude of different areas and then Erin Condren line you can use it for the life planners the monthly planner covers sticker sheets uh you know two pack of notepads personally stationary and return address labels and I will say I have purchased uh return address labels from Erin Condren in the past um specifically to use for like Christmas cards and things like that beautiful absolutely loved them so that's one thing i can definitely give my thumbs up about if you like that kind of thing and then we just have more of those colorful cosmos design the abstract circles the watercolor checkered pattern abstract paint metallic in the moment oh that's pretty i do like the look of that metallic in the paint and also too with um erin condren's uh covers and everything i do believe you have the ability sometimes to also personalize it and to create the colors in a different way so if you click on personalize you can put your name down here for instance but some of the covers also give you the ability to choose what colors you want in the planner cover design and then of course more hello kitty i do like the hello kitty line i think it's really cute um, and there's even a Hello Kitty ballpoint three pack of pens here in the pastel colors. So if those interest you and you're a Hello Kitty fan, these might be a nice addition to your planner. And then I do like this Hello Kitty canvas pocket tote bag, which is also looks like it comes in 
three colors, or maybe you can... Hmm. Comes in blush, slate blue, and black. I really like the black because I think that white just really pops. Yeah. All right, I think it really pops. But for my pastel girly friends, they do have that blush. And as far as these ballet trees go, hmm. Just not a fan. No. Um, the reason why I'm just not a fan of these, and maybe you are, that's great if it works for you and you like it and everything. But for me, because like I said, I'm accident prone. So this portion of the corners sticking out as such, I would be hitting and knocking that all over my desk. So it is an instant no from me. Um, and then last, over here we have, for Black History Month, we have these gorgeous planner cover designs. And I like the fact that you can also scroll over and you can get a little bit of information and see the beautiful creator who designed these cover, these covers for Erin Condren. And these are just, oh, gorgeous. This one right here, the Scorpio. I think it'd be, is it called the Scorpio? Well, I'm just, yeah, the Scorpio cover, oh. Girl, that is just absolutely gorgeous in this leaves covers. Oof, I love the tones. It just talks to me, you know? Yeah, and this purpose cover, mm, I love, just love. I might have to get a tote. <laughs> I might have to get a tote or two because I love, just absolutely love those designs. Yeah, and then Looks like Erin Condren is coming out with a productivity planner. So let's just take a quick look at that. Looks like it's in an A5 size. And it looks like you have a goal project page, pages for an action setup, habits that you can kind of keep track of Monday through Sunday. You have your little schedule. Very nice. Oh, and you also have this big monthly tracking in the back. That is very handy. I'm thinking it's probably throughout the whole year. So that's pretty handy. And of course she always has some sticker sheets, one or two in the back of her planners. So that is very handy. That could be a good planner for any of you who have like specific, a lot of projects coming up, you know, on the Erin Condren line. Yeah to kind of keep track of that. And of course you can get it in a variety of different um, covers here, which looks cute. Ooh, okay. Got the goal setting planner. Let's take a look at that. Okay. And you have your weekly check-ins with it, goal overview. Okay, that could be a good good option for those in the Erin Condren world. And then you have a reading log and journal. Very nice. I know I like using the Happy Planner Franken Planner system for mine because I can just use different variety of pages. I can, you know, pull them out, snap them in and create my own reading trackers and everything. But those in the Erin Condren or who prefer the spiraled kind of notebooks and planners, these are good options. These are really nice options, especially like the smaller A5 size. Um, talk about, you know, more easy on the go kind of aspect of it. And this looks like it's a fitness planner. Okay, nice little breakout. You get a little bit of monthly overview, some checking in prompts, goal setting guides, kind of like a daily check-in also. Nice, okay. And then you also get a checklist notebook. Now we all know how I love a good checklist. So <laughs> that's why I'm using the monthly layout classic happy planner for my catch all. So let's take a look. Oh, I could instantly see this A5 checklist notebook being a great planner for those who want to keep track of, you know, your social media your if you have a business and there's certain things you have to keep track of like with inventory 
uh, teachers, this would be really great too. Maybe for a multitude of like an award system or other kind of things that you have going on in your classrooms. This would be a nice planner. Okay, I could see that. I'm on board with the checklist one. And then I also really love the Erin Condren's monthly sticker edition books. These are just really beautiful. I like it because it's not overwhelming. You get a sheet per month and it just gives you just a little bit of minimalist, little touches of color and everything. I really do enjoy her monthly sticker edition sticker books. So I, I would highly recommend. And then here's where we have these wall calendars and an acrylic kind of material along with more dry erase markers. So let's just take a look at one or two of these wall calendars. Ooh, <laughs> right off the bat, the price is kind of throwing me back a little bit. 98.50 for an 18 by 24 inch wall calendar. Okay, mm, not too keen on the price, to be honest. Um, don't really like the hourly schedule, but I guess this could work for somebody, you know, if you really want to keep on your wall every day, you want to write it in what you have going on for that day, hour by hour. I think that'd be a little redundant for me and my needs. I personally would like more of a wall calendar, like a monthly view. That I think would be more worthwhile for me, but... You know, here's some good options for those who like to more, you know, put something on the on the wall and everything every single day. And then last but not least, it looks like we have the 2023 planners kind of being marked down at some good sale prices. So if you guys haven't received or picked up a 2023 planner yet, here's some options for you in the soft covers. And then here's where we come into the more spiral bound. So, okay, that's it for Erin Condren. Let's take a look at the next. Here we're gonna be looking at Live Love Posh and here they have some new uh, pouches that they're coming out with. Looks like their large snacks one has been sold out and everything, but they do have the skin and glam and it looks like they have a really pretty rose felt tip pin. If you guys want to have any of these kind of pins, really pretty color. Um, here in your pen holder or cup at your desk. You can also get a set of three of pen set. Very nice. You can also get a chic black spiral notebook. Okay. And a chic gold dot notebook. Okay. And the, both of those look like they come in the eight and a half by seven, so roughly almost seven by nine classic size, for, kind of for reference. And then you also have these posh die cut vinyl stickers. If you are into the vinyl stickers, I know these are really a great way of like putting them on maybe like a laptop or a water tumbler, cup, jar, whatever you use to hydrate. And also a fun game to play along. Every time I say or utter the word, um, <laughs> take a drink of your water, guys. Let's stay hydrated, friends. You know, I definitely need to drink more water myself. So <laughs> that could be a fun little game that we could incorporate into these videos here. And I really like these Lux Metal Washi cut Cutters. I could see myself picking up one or two of these. So stay tuned. I might be putting these on my planner wish list. And then last but not least, we come into the beautiful lined sticker books. And it looks like the Love Yourself sticker book is sold out, but they do have these beautiful florals. Let's just take a closer look, shall we? Get more of a view as to these gorgeous florals. Oh, love these. You know, I haven't shopped at Live Love Posh quite yet, but I've definitely had them on my radar and yeah guys I might have to yeah I might have to pick up a sticker book or two to try out and here you can also get some Tombow mono drawing pens so if that's right up your alley 
right go right ahead check it out and then i'm gonna skip to the next um next site here we're gonna check out it's gonna be kel of a plan and spoiler alert I am going to be having a mini haul of some Calibre Plan sticker books coming, so as soon as those come in, be sure to keep having the bell notification on so you are notified of my upcoming videos because I'm going to be having a Calibre Plan mini haul coming up soon. So it looks like right off from the get-go we have these splur excuse me, spring floral sticker book. And these are just, ugh. and I love seeing her spring florals. Now, only critiqued her website and I know it's not too not too old of a website and everything like that. I, I wish she would have like more pictures to where you can also maximize and zoom in and everything so that would be my only critique here for Caliba Plan's website. Um, but also if you want to check out more in depth of what she has going on in her showcase and her sticker books rather you can also check out her YouTube Caliba Plan and here under her videos and everything, you can see that her different, you know, floral kits, you know, kind of thing where she does a book flip throughs and everything. But I will also be doing a book flip through of some of her sticker books also as soon as I come in for that mini haul. So stay tuned. So here with Kel of a Plan, she has her new releases and we have the spring floral sticker book, which I do recall her saying that these were just restocked and everything so if you were looking at it previously and you saw that it was out of you know out of stock they're back in stock so feel free to come on over and pick up those spring florals and you also she also has this floral kit sticker book and you can just see it's really pretty and everything yeah i just wish i could zoom in and make that picture larger so you could see it a little bit better uh but it's really pretty and then she she also has these Rainbow Basics Volume 2 sticker book where it looks like you have a different variety of checklists and boxes in beautiful rainbow colors. And you also have the Noir Basics sticker book in black and white boxes and checklists and such. And then she also has these ballpoint jewel pens which are really pretty with her Calibre Plan logo and matching kind of like jewels in the pen as well for a little flair. And we also have a travel basic sticker book. Really pretty. I love the colors in it. Yeah. Just wish you could look at the pictures just a little bit larger from the website, but that's okay. And then she has a neutral set of monthly sticky notes. Now these monthly sticky notes, these are great, especially if you're in the happy planner world and everything, because you can see where this little square in the upper right hand corner can be notched out for you to use these post-it notes when you're pre-planning your monthly spreads and everything. You can put these post-it notes and whatever you need to put on, say for that date and everything to plan on, you can put it on the post-it note and still see which corresponding date on that month, you know, it refers to or goes to. And then it looks like we also have some Neutral Florals Volume 2 sticker book. Really pretty neutral colors for all my neutral lover gals. And then last but not least, she has some winter sticker books, which these are beautiful. Yeah, love those wintry kind of tones and colors and everything. So like I said, if you want it to have a closer look as to the flip throughs of these sticker books and everything, feel free to hop on over to Calvo Plan's YouTube channel. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And you can go there and you can check out, you know, her sticker book flip throughs and everything. And then, like I said, I'm going to have a mini haul of her sticker books that I ordered coming in. So once those come in, I'm going to record myself doing up sticker book flip throughs for you as well. And that, so stay tuned for that. And then next we're gonna head over to Mojo Jojo Plans, her website, and her February release sticker books. We have pastel shapes, big pastel boxes, pastel boxes, black shapes, and the rainbow shapes. And I really like Mojo Jojo Plans, her sticker books and everything, which I have showcased in 
I think, I do believe it was my budget and debt tracker video to where I showcased uh, some of her um, stickers and everything like that, um, of the boxes. And now this is what I'm talking about, zooming in <laughs> to showcase your product. This is nicely done, Mojo. <laughs> I really like that. So with here, you can see that she's got these really pretty circles and line circle stickers and hexagons, you know, some triangles different kind of shapes, diamonds, half circles, kind of a fl flower kind of thing, and hearts. Very cute. I like those. And she is a small business owner and she's just killing it and doing so great and everything. So always, you know, try to, if you want to try out a new sticker book and everything, try, you know, supporting some, sp some smaller businesses, you know, like Mojo Digital Plans, Calvo Plan, and if you guys shop in any particular small business owners sticker shops or Etsy shops or what have you, feel free to comment down below, share them with the planner community. Let's support some other small business owners, especially women. Come on, let's, you know, be there for one another, rising up and just supporting one another for these great, you know, products and everything that we're designing and putting out. And these boxes, oh. I just love these really pretty pastel kind of rainbow shades. So if you guys were needing some really good quality boxed, you know, shaped, you know, stickers and everything for your more functional plan and everything, definitely recommend checking out Mojo Jojo Plans. And then we also have these smaller regular size of the pastel boxes. So let's take a look at those as well. Just beautiful. And I like that when you look at her colors, she has two tones of the same shade. So like you have like this more kind of a lime green and then this more softer muted kind of green as well. So you get, you know, more color options and variety for, you know, your monthly spreads and decorative, you know, planning and everything. And you have this really pretty black shapes. So for the neutral girls, hey, here is some really pretty black boxed stickers really like and last but not least we do have these rainbow or brighter just beautiful rainbow shapes so these are just beautiful and be sure to also follow mojo jojo plans through instagram and everything uh, she does i know advertise when she has her stickers sticker books you know coming back into stock and everything like that so definitely check it out i know i have been loving her foiled rainbow boxes so keep your eye out for when that gets or restocked rather and then next we are going to che check out jane's agenda now i haven't personally shopped from jane's agenda before but i have seen a couple other youtube creators or digital creators in the planner community liking Jane's agenda and I do believe they've been they offer like a a half letter size of like refills and things like that for the disc bound system so if this is right in your alley I would say definitely check this out and also coming up they are having a big warehouse sale starting February 9th at 12 p.m mountain standard time through February 12th Indian at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if you are a James and Shunda fan and you want to check out some things, definitely put on your alarm and everything to check out their warehouse sale. So when you guys are seeing this video, it will already be ongoing. So feel free to check it out. Next, we're going to be looking at Poi and Hun. This is a store that has been speaking to me. I haven't bought from them yet, but I'm definitely going to have them on my radar to check out some things, um, especially because I just love the neutral color tones of their style, you know, the colors that they chose and everything. You can get some really cute disc bound system sticker album dividers. Now this is something that I'm really interested in. So I may be putting this on my planner wish list, <laughs> these disc bound systems. So let's just take a look at this album dividers, shall we? Gotta love the zoom feature, yes. <laughs> so it looks like we got a little bit of a mini-ish size of a sticker album here with some tabs, which are always welcomed in 
really nice. I like that. Yes, I think this might be a product that I will definitely be putting on my wish list. So stay tuned. And then they also have um, a variety of acrylic kind of desk accessories, which, okay, yeah. And then they have this mid-size sticker album dividers. Yes, yeah, I really like this. Speaks to the organization soul of me. <laughs> and then it looks like there is a mystery bundle of vellum dashboards where you can save a bit. Very cute. You can choose which size um, style of planner works for you. Very cute. Might be something to check out. And then here's where they're going to kind of go into their different agenda spiral planners and everything. And you can also have like disc bound. Yeah. So if you're like me and these tones and everything speak to you, um, definitely check out Point On. I'll have it linked down below. And next we are going to be going and checking out Notique. Now Notique to me, in my opinion, is more of a luxury planner kind of everyday kind of a brand. And the reason for that is obviously their price point, but the quality of their products and everything, absolutely gorgeous. So this is something that I definitely have on my radar to check out and everything from Notique. Um, not so much interested in like the purses or, you know, the carrying cases and everything for the phone, but I can see myself being interested in these like little pouches over here and these um, zip around folio wallets. That definitely is an interest to me. And then they also have for your planner systems and everything. I found these kind of cute. Um, if you wanted like a word of the month to focus on or anything, they have like these mini cards of from their code of elegance affirmation cards that you could kind of put in your planners and kind of use it as uh, decoration and just, you know, just something to kind of keep you motivated in your planning, you know, daily. And then I thought these envelopes a finance kit notebook was really interesting. Now this would be really cute and good to have for my, uh, for the cash stuffers. Um, this would be something I could honestly say this being very useful. And also because of the size, it would be very convenient for keeping, you know, your budget expense, you know, sheets here for you to check out and everything. So that would be something I would probably suggest to my cash stuffing gals and guys out there. And then they also have these really cool Dexbound Poly notebook covers and everything. So these also kind of interest me that I might want to check out at some point, especially because we have the disc bound system. But yeah, be a really nice notebook to have. And like I said, it just kind of gives a little bit more of that luxe, you know, look and feel to it and everything. So but the one thing from Notique that I'm really interested in, I'm just gonna kind of scroll through here. Um, like I said, I really like these zip around bristlets, uh, wallets and everything like that. But I also like their covers and I definitely wanna maybe try out one of their covers at some point. But like I said, it's more of a luxe, you know, save up for kind of a, you know, brand and everything of product, so. If it's something that you really, really want and everything, I'd say put it on a planner wish list. Maybe put it on for like a Christmas gift list or something, you know, give somebody ideas. But this one, ah, uh, the stone gray pebble quilted zip folio wallet, just gorgeous. So yeah, this is definitely the one I think that's gonna be going on my planner wish list or just wish list in general. So yeah, they have those beautiful ones. And then last but not least, we have this last page of New Arrivals. And these are the pouch vegan leathers. And I really like these. These are really pretty. It looks like they're kind of like wristlet size, quite possible. So let's just take a 
closer look. You can get them in a different kind of sizes, I do believe. They have, you know, a YouTube page you can check out for closer detail and look at these. But yeah, just beautiful. Okay. And then last but not least, what we're going to kind of show through Notique. They do have these leather card key cases, but eh, it's not really something that interests me. Um, they do also have these side tab planner dividers, which could be very useful for anybody if you're looking for some tabs. Maybe these could fit the bill for you, you know? Check them out. And then the last thing, and I know I scrolled past it, but I'm going right back up, is these disc-bound poly snap covers. This color in particular, like this rose gold color, or kind of burnished copper meets rose gold. Oof, gorgeous. I might have to put this on the planner wish list to pick up at some point, but yeah, that's just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then last but not least, and last but certainly not least, we are checking out Wrong Wrong. Now we all know how I feel about my Wrong Wrong girls. So Wrong Wrong has a website, shopwrongwrong.com. And what we're going to be looking at is some of their newer products and everything. I know that they've probably been out for a bit and everything, uh, but I did want to showcase them in here because this is definitely going to be a brand, a site that I'm going to be keeping my eye on and everything and relaying back to you all as to newer products that are coming up out for it. So it looks like right now they have some sorority kind of styled, uh, you know, sticker sheets, sticker packs and everything like that. So that could be cute for if any of you are in some, you know, sororities and everything. They do have this sticker obsessed bundle die cut and wanderlust sticker books. Now this could be really great to get for a gift for somebody that you know loves wrong wrong. You know, things like that. Comes with these beautiful, strong, empowered women, you know, die cut stickers, the wanderlust sticker book and the big fashion sticker book. And I think these are great ones, good bundle to get for, you know, fans of the wrong, wrong style. And also for those who might not have, you know, maybe newer to wrong, wrong, if you will. And then they also have this Zeta planner sticker sheet for those who are part of Zeta and are interested in that. They have a beautiful mom life planner sticker sheet in the dark. Oh, look at how Gorgeous these women are. Oof. Gorgeous. They also have the Mom Life Planner sticker book in blonde for all my blondie girls. Beautiful. And for my brunette girls, where are you? Hands up. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> we have these beautiful girls. Just beautiful. And then we also, looks like we have this Delta Diva planner sticker set. Nice. Really pretty. Cute, cute. And it looks like that is it for the wrong wrong. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. That is going to wrap up today's new in the planner sphere number one episode in the series that I'm going to be having ongoing here on my channel. So if this kind of content interests you, or if you have any other, like I said, sticker shops or any other kind of stores or brands or anything that you'd like me to kind of take a look at and keep an eye on to report back to you on these bi-weekly new in the planner sphere videos, comment down below, you know, let's give me some ideas. Uh, you know, share with a group of some great products and everything that you have been loving and that you would recommend to your friends and everything. And remember to please give a thumbs up to my video if you could subscribe if you're not and click the bell notification so you can be notified of all my upcoming and future videos. With that guys, I wish you all well. Take care of yourselves, be kind, spread some love to everyone here in this during this month of February 
And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.